What's up, Inky Boy here, and today I have a Dead Day Before trailer review for you. In this video, we will be looking at a lot of hidden information I found while looking at almost every frame of the Day Before trailers. For now, we do not know much about this upcoming MMO survival game developed by Fantastic, but there is no doubt that you will know a bit more by the end of this trailer review series. If at any point you find this video entertaining and useful, please take a few seconds to hit like and comment below, and if you want to join the group, which is our discord community the link is in the description and pin comment so i gathered every trailer and teaser i could find for the day before i cut out everything that was in gameplay and was left with just about 25 minutes of footage to look at i'll be splitting this into a three-part series so we don't end up with an hour long video but i will be uploading all three parts at the same time and let's get right into it we will start with the oldest footage and work our way up to the most recent rtx on trailer so right off the bat we learn a bit of the backstory there's been a pandemic and we already know the action will take place in the u.s but seems here it will most likely be happening around washington then we see our first footage of gameplay we can see the world is extremely detailed we obviously will be having cars which is confirmed in the few available lines of the game description and from everything i read and gathered vehicles will be one of the core mechanics of the game we can also see what seems to be a party with voice chat although i believe this was overlaid for the trailer because the speaking activation doesn't really sync with when they talk and this is the only time we see this in any trailers so this was probably just to show that parties and VoIP will be a thing. Now, this right here is something that has me excited, although I do not know if this is a scripted animation, but when the player talks, we can see the character is doing gestures. I really hope this is something that is really in game, like when you talk over IP, your character does some little hand gestures just to add to the immersion. Here we get our first glimpse at looting and the inventory screen. Don't mind this one too much because we get to see an updated inventory screen in later footage. But the vibe I'm getting so far and it does stick throughout all the other trailers is that they're going for a minimalistic approach. So very simple HUD, simple inventory screens. Here we see the inventory screen again and we see we can equip different types of items and in the more recent trailers we will see there is a couple more inventory slots. Then there is a radio message about a survivor colony and this is pretty much confirmed that everything will revolve around a central player hub or colony as they call it now other than we can meet other players and trade we do not know much about how this hub will work but we do get a glimpse of it in later footage now we see our first interior of a lootable building of course the big question is how many of these buildings will be lootable i mean of course it's unlikely that it will be all buildings but how diverse the building types will be is really what i'm looking forward to and i gotta say even for the first gameplay footage the interior is looking very good with just a bunch of things laying around pretty much what you'd expect in the first few days of an apocalypse then we get our first view at a gunfight, so the game will be third person over the shoulder. Now I can't really tell if these characters are supposed to be players or NPCs, but I imagine this game will do it a bit like The Division. You roam the map and you fight NPCs and you can run into other groups of players. I just love how the gunshots and the grenades just have things flying all over the places if I'm gonna be honest here. So from this screen here it seems like we will be able to loot everything that is on a character. Now of course this all depends on whether these were actual players or just NPCs. Either way I really hope we get to grab everything that someone is carrying. So now there is a storm and we see what I assume is a temperature metric quickly going down. So obviously there will be temperature and environmental management involved. Then following the gunshots, a horde of zombies comes for the player. Pretty much a given for any zombie survival games at this point. And to escape the zombies, he enters what seems to be a pretty big building. 
so far it's looking pretty good for buildings you can enter and this looks like a pretty good size horde that was coming for him he definitely doesn't have enough bullets and he needs to run which is something i like here we get to see what seems to be the crafting menu again very simple looks like he can craft bandages a splint a med kit and some medication there is only eight slots which as we believe you probably have to choose what you can craft before leaving the hub uh we see what is needed to craft and how many we have says the bandage stops one bleeding when used so there will be some sort of medical system but i don't see any indicator on screen that the character is bleeding we see another pretty big horde just idling waiting for some noise probably so we can look forward to some sneaking sequences probably we see a camera here i wonder if this is something we will be able to use and scan buildings for other players and zombies before we venture forth now when it comes to the buildings you can enter and how big they are i'm gonna assume that since he didn't choose a floor in the elevator these big tall skyscraper buildings will only have a few accessible floors but still this is looking pretty detailed and immersive so far and to end this trailer we see a zombie feeding on what seems to be another player or it might be an npc the next gameplay footage starts with our player rolling up a sleeping bag inside a house so there will be sleeping or resting although i don't see how this would work in an mmo we can see they've made a few changes to the survival metrics looks like the squad is getting ready now i'm wondering if this is like them spawning into an instance or something like that we see this guy back here collecting resources from the flower pot also we have this alarm system control that we can interact with as we will see in a later trailer so we make our way into the streets and here we can see that most buildings will be apparently blocked as expected uh, we see a couple bicycles maybe we will be able to ride those also seems like we will be able to loot most bodies so far everybody we've seen they were able to loot them he hears a gunshot and we can see birds flying away giving away where the shot came from that's nice the squad's moving up using cover very the division like now one thing i really like so far is the pace everything seems heavy and slow in a lot of games everybody's been training for an iron man event their whole life everyone just gets to sprint everywhere looks like this guy was just trying to avoid that other squad and he's just in a tough spot right now and he gets domed uh we start getting shot in return doesn't look like we took that much damage i'm really liking the pace of this fight but again it's hard to tell if these guys are supposed to be players or npcs i like how there's a lot of cover so our squad mate is moving up on this other guy behind the police car we can see the animations are looking pretty good so far so we are moving on the last guy here there seems to be a wall behind him makes me wonder if everything is going to be split into zones and these zones are going to be instants so here we have what seems to be a takedown or execution animation but this might all be just scripted of course we can also see a gas mask on this character can we equip those probably what survival game doesn't have a gas mask these days also looks like this guy has a stab or bulletproof vest with some sort of crest on it so will we be able to have let's say a clan crest on our gear Although this to me looks more like an NPC with his faction colors on him. So what I'm getting from this is that there will be NPCs, there will be NPC factions, and there will be takedowns. And finally, we have an AFV that comes out and conveniently blocks off the access to the zone. Which brings us to our next clip where we get a very short teaser at some off-road gameplay. So I'm not much into car games or truck simulators, but this looks pretty cool. Now one thing I will point out is this fuel consumption is pretty insane. Like this is half a mile per gallon. So I figured this game will have you looking for fuel pretty often. And also this is something that we will notice throughout the trailers. There is a lot of choke points and obstacles designed to slow down vehicles. So they are definitely aiming at making driving around not a safe thing to do. Now in the next gameplay trailer, which is the longest one we got so far, at about 13 minutes we start off where we left in the small off-road trailer and a truck in the mud a few things we see in the first few seconds is this forest machinery maybe we will get to drive those would be awesome we also see what appears to be a fire watch tower a pretty big bridge and what appears to be a broadcast station of some sort with a communications tower so probably a poi we can look forward to and that is where we are going to end part one 
part two and three will be linked at the end and in the pinned comment if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more please take the time to subscribe like this video comment below and share do not forget to join our wonderful community on discord thanks for watching thanks for your support and i will see you in the next one